Hi everyone. Again, this is Richard Solomon, uh, the stroke survivor, the stroke survivor of my YouTube channel, Cha and My Narratives. Ang uh, aking share pong uh, published video for, for today is again coming from Dr. Mike Hansen, uh, which is entitled uh, "Does Blood Type Matter for COVID-19?" Ang uh, blood type daw po ba, kahit anong type, ay uh, may uh, connection sa COVID-19. Okay? Or, to better uh, uh, rephrase the question, ang COVID-19 ba ay pumipili ng mga tao of uh, or very particular blood type lang po ba? Okay? So, ito pong share pong video sa inyo ay inyo pong panoorin at uh, para malaman nyo po yung sagot. By the way, disclaimer, again, these are not yet final and conclusive kung ano po yung mga result ng mga clinical studies. But there are ongoing studies, clinical abstracts, clean medical uh, abstracts na nangyayari sa buong mundo at tuloy-tuloy na pinag-aaralan po yung correlation ng type ng dugo at ng COVID-19 or sa COVID-19. Okay? So, share ko po ito sa inyo ngayon. Panoorin niyo po ito and keep an open mind. This is not a, a final and conclusive. These are still theories na tuloy-tuloy na pinag-aaralan ng mga medical scientists and uh, uh, doc uh, researcher doctors no so panoorin niyo po ito are people with blood type o less prone to suffer from covid-19 and does blood type a make people more prone to covid-19 let me first start out by saying that people of all blood types can get covid and people with all blood types can possibly die of covid if they get the infection but based on several different studies, it looks like people with blood type O have less a chance of getting infected and people with type A might have a higher chance of getting infected. Data from China was the first to show ABO blood group association with COVID-19 infections. The researcher Zhao and others compared ABO blood groups of controls for the general population with over 2,100 COVID patients from three hospitals in Wuhan. Across all three hospitals, Blood group A was associated with a higher risk for COVID compared with non-blood A groups, whereas blood group O was associated with a significantly lower risk of infection compared with non-O blood groups. And there's another study done by Andre Franchi in Italy and Spain. And in this study, they looked at DNA samples from 1,980 COVID patients who were hospitalized for respiratory failure. And the study produced similar results. But what about severity of illness? So does having the blood type O make someone less likely to have severe illness compared with the type B or type AB or type A? Well, Zhao and others looked at case fatality rate and blood group A was linked to higher mortality compared to blood group O. And interestingly, the association of blood type is not explainable by other risk factors like obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Recently, there was a study published by the personal genetics company called 23andMe regarding evidence that blood type plays a role in COVID-19. So if you don't know, 23andMe is a company that sends out personal genetics testing kits to people who are interested in finding out their genetic history and or their predisposition to certain genetically transmitted diseases. According to their website, they did a study based on over 750,000 people. Their preliminary results suggest that O blood type appears to be slightly less susceptible to contracting the virus. But the question is why? And no one really knows, but there are a lot of hypotheses. So blood type is determined by genetics and the genes determine the specific proteins on the surface of these cells. These proteins then have specific sugar molecules that are added onto them. They exist on our blood cells, but also other types of cells as well, like epithelial cells. People who are blood type A carry A sugar antigens. People who are blood type B carry B sugar antigens. People with O blood type have neither A or B sugar antigens. What is the significance of this? 
This means that the immune systems of people with type A develop antibodies for B antigens. People with type B blood type have antibodies for A antigens. People with type O blood have antibodies for both A and B antigens. And so here's an interesting fact that we knew even before COVID. There are studies showing that people with type O blood type have lower levels of proteins that promote blood clotting. More specifically, people with blood group O have 25% lower levels of something called von Willebrand factor, or VWF. This is in comparison to types A, B, and type AB blood. The reason for this is due to increased clearance of von Willebrand factor from the circulation. Von Willebrand factor is a protein that's always involved in the formation of blood clots. So if there's less von Willebrand factor, that means there's likely to be less blood clotting. So this might explain why type O blood type means less blood clots, and this might at least partially explain why people with type O overall have less severe disease with COVID. Because as you probably already know, lots of people with COVID pneumonia also have blood clots. Also, we know that the virus that causes COVID, SARS-CoV-2, can replicate in cells that express blood type antigens. This is what I was referring to as epithelial cells. So this includes the cells that form the lining of our lungs and the cells that form our tiny little air sacs, alveoli, and the cells that line the inside of our mouth and our nasal passages. This means that when an infected person coughs or sneezes, there's a possibility that they released viral particles that are coated with the blood type antigens. So this is at least a theory from some scientists. Let's say Bob is blood type O. That means he has anti-A and anti-B antibodies. Now let's say there's someone next to Bob. Her name is Karen. Karen is blood type A. And let's say Karen isn't wearing a mask and she coughs or sneezes in Bob's face. And that virus is flying through the air heading towards Bob's mouth. Well, that virus probably isn't flying solo. It's probably flying in conjunction with that A antigen from Karen from her epithelial cells. Well, because Bob is type O, he has antibodies to the A antigen and therefore more likely to defend against the virus because it's riding with that A antigen when it gets transmitted. If Jane, who is blood type B, coughs in Bob's face, it would be the same thing because Bob also has B antibodies. But if Bob coughs or sneezes in Karen's face or Jane's face, there will be no A or B antigen that accompanies that virus in the air. But with this theory, it doesn't necessarily explain why type A is worse than type B. So again, this is a theory, this is not proven fact. But it does look like type A is associated with higher likelihood of contracting COVID and type O is associated with a lower likelihood. The reason why it is still to be determined. Okay, uh, dun po nagtatapos yung uh, published video ni Dr. Mike Hansen about the connection or probable connection of uh, different blood types to COVID-19. As, as the title of his video or vlog said, does blood type uh, is uh, does blood type matters to COVID-19 so again at the end of his video he said these are not yet uh, conclusive or uh, these are just proven theories not yet proven theories but there is an ongoing uh, clinical uh, studies and have and there was already also some clinical studies that was already done okay so uh, hanggang dito na lang po at uh, ito po ulit si Richard Solomon na nagsasabing uh, uh, peace God bless and uh, love one another more so your families please do subscribe like and share if you may okay this video okay thank you very much bye bye for now